Ready when you are. It's your turn. How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of the son of Frankenstein. This one is probably just as bad as his father. Good morning, sir. My son, you have inherited the fortune of the Frankensteins. I trust you will not inherit their fate. By heaven, I think you're a worse fiend than your father. What are you going to do about it? There's a monster of what you know it. We warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I am Tom Lang. And I'm Bill Evenson. And you've joined us for Minute eight of uh, (laughs) Son of Frankenstein from 1939 where Basil Rathbone is uh, at the train station with uh, Jeremy Walter. What was his name? James Walton. Who was the Burger Master? Oh, it was... Uh, <laughs> Doesn't matter. Now, now you made me forget. Yeah. yeah anyway. He did, uh, he did the Oscars. Oscars. He hosted the, yeah, Oscars the Oscars in 35. Yeah. Something like that. He finishes the sentence. So you had something about that first sentence. Well, um, he, he launches into a speech that no one asks him to give, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> okay. But again, you know, he's trying to turn this around. No, I I, I know why he's doing it, but it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's like one of the Trump <laughs> children trying to <laughs> give a speech or, or rouse oh, up goodness. a crowd because it... It has about the same effect. That's interesting. That's an interesting... Uh, so you really hate No, no, Wolf. no. I don't hate Wolf. It's just <laughs> okay. uh, he, he doesn't read the room. Agreed. I think that is what the scene is about, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is about him learning that. Yeah, as yeah. I quite realized my father's misfortune to be the unwilling, unknowing cause of tragedy. Like you said last week, not a great way to open. No. Open with doesn't... a joke, first <laughs> of all. <laughs> 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 Would be a good I, joke. I, 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 for, not, yeah. Obviously, not a Toastmaster. No, exactly. No, and uh, again, not the story of Frankenstein no, in any way no, whatsoever. Not really. So, but and, and right away, the audience grows. But, but he does say cause of tragedy. So there's that's the only thing. It's the only bit of that sentence that redeems him even slightly because he's like you said, Butterfingers <laughs> last <laughs> yeah, week. Whoopsie. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be his take so far, yeah, at least like, by yeah, minute eight. The yeah, unwilling, uh, yeah, unwitting, yeah, unknowing. Yeah, oh. Cause Cause of tragedy. I was just all I was doing was digging up some graves and trying to putting a guy together, and putting bringing them to yeah, life. It was going to be great. You would have loved it. And then yeah. fucking was, some asshole. Well, was Jimmy Stewart as Henry Frankenstein just now. <laughs> was, that, yeah. was that the voice I'm doing? Yeah. All right. Well, that's my Clive. <laughs> well, I was just trying to bring, put together some. Well, 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 well no, 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 look here, um, Fritz, I need you to grab... It's like I'm sitting here with Peter Sellers. Yeah. It's uncanny. That's <laughs> uncanny. I was probably doing a fine Jimmy Stewart until I until, tried until to, do tried to do Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, I, sorry, I ruined it. He doesn't remember yeah, him. Yeah, sorry, I don't remember him. This is, it just gets more complicated. That's why I think maybe that Henry stayed and Elizabeth took the kids to England. And then the script thing I was talking about with yeah, the 20, 20 years, years makes a little bit more sense that way, yeah, too. Yeah, Henry died when he was young. I mean, yeah, I mean, because all ever, I had was, a, was there a divorce. He doesn't ever really impart any first-hand interaction with Henry. He just, here's what my mom said. Yes. And I don't remember him. So right. It's like he didn't really have any contact. Well, him. if he did, he doesn't... He doesn't remember it. He doesn't remember it. He, he clearly had some contact. Well, obviously. But, yeah. Yeah. So but he doesn't remember it, so it's pointless. Henry it's, was it's a, not, not relevant. Henry was maybe a deadbeat dad. Who knows? Uh, yeah. I, I've been told that he was a good man. Oh, that... That, that line that goes over well. That, yeah. yeah. That. <laughs> you know, it's weird because in Frankenstein, you don't lose sympathy with the character. Okay. The book, oh, I should book. say. He's such a dick, Victor. Yeah, he's yeah, a dick. He's a dick. No question. He's clueless. He's clueless. But I don't think you hate him. You don't hate him, but I don't think you feel sorry for him because he never once uh, accepts his culpability. Everything thing is the monster's fault. We're going to have to talk about this book yeah. because uh, no, the whole, the book is about all these horrible things that happen to him and yeah. how he reacts to it. That's what the book is about. It's right. ma- no, he's I the get... main character yes, of the book. No, I, I'm and saying... you don't, I feel you don't lose sympathy with him. Um, yeah. I think he becomes more sympathetic as you go on. Yeah, Should we not I, talk about this? Yeah, well, no, I was just going to say I disagree because the more that the monster does to try to get him to, it's all, he does nothing to Well, that's true. Alleviate. He's like, okay, look, I'm sorry. I created right. you. This is, yep. this is a mess. How can we fix this? No, everything is. It's his fault. Yeah, absolutely. It's the creature's fault. But it's, that's also why stuff... am I being so tormented? Okay, so you've just g- sort of given me a list of things that he does wrong. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you lose sympathy with him. I, uh, you do sympathize with. Him. He's still a dick, and he's wrong throughout everything. He's. This is perfect. We come back to. I've been told he was a good man. Yeah, 
And it's your take on that, personally, is that he wasn't. Victor, no. Henry, yeah. Okay. But Henry was... Henry's a different character Henry than... Henry was led astray by... Hen- Henry's a different character than Victor Frankenstein. Butterfingers, Fritz, yep. and, and Pretorius. Pretorius. Other than that, you're on Henry's side. You think digging up graves is great. <laughs> I do it myself, so... Yeah, That's leave why, that why in. Why do you think we have a house with that big wooded backyard that you can I think what I've, hide a lot of shit down I think there. I've said it a number of times, but it should be pretty obvious to people by now. This podcast is mainly just evidence for some future some future <laughs> future legal <laughs> proceedings. Class proceeding. action suit. <laughs> class <laughs> action suit. <laughs> Wrongful death cla- class yeah, action yeah. suit. Uh, there's a line in this I really love, and uh, I hope I'm not doing this out of order, but I d- it didn't strike me until just the other day while preparing for this minute. Let the dead past remain buried. Yeah, that's that's quite a ways. And I know how greatly your tragedy must have weighed upon his mind. And they, they start to, like, leave. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, like... Fuck you. Yeah, it's pretty great the way this same scene plays out. Yeah, it's it's well built. I mean, he looks like an ass. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he just doesn't get it. And he keeps going, trying to salvage it, and he just digs a hole deeper and deeper. Yes. Uh, as the audience, we know that he's clueless on this matter. We are not meant to think that he's right and they're being dicks. No, no, no. He just So he that just, is the story yeah. of Wolf. And yeah. we're going to follow it for 99 minutes. <laughs> but he's just, he's <laughs> About like, 98 of those minutes, I think we're going to realize that he's clueless, clueless. and he's, he's wrong on yeah. all of this. By minute, suddenly at the end we'll <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just keeps going and going. He's, yeah. Might want to wrap this up yeah. before you dig yourself in a little bit deeper. Yep. So then he the says, past. okay, yeah, so he's, 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 I can't undo the wrongs you've suffered. Let the dead past remain buried. That's yeah, it's a great it. line for yeah. a Frankenstein. Oh, absolutely. That's great writing yeah, to me. Yeah. It didn't strike me until recently, like I said, while preparing for these minutes. Yeah. Let the dead past remain yeah. It's a, great, it's a great line. Fine it's, talk, Herr Frankenstein. <laughs> fine, fine talk. talk. I, yeah, mm-hmm. people will get what that's what then, that metaphor then, is. Then you you watch the gendarme in the middle again. This is where he's looking at him like. You really? Might, he might, responds you, to that? Well, no, line? but it just his face kind of just like... Oosh. <laughs> wrap it up. Well, he, okay, so then one thing that does happen during that little speech is he does seem to realize that it is going off the rails a bit because by the yeah. end he wraps up with something that's just a just a pathetic <laughs> Totally. Plea. We just we want just to be, be your friends. friends. Yeah. My wife and I and our son. Yeah. Like, that's going to help. You know, yeah. He's, yeah. He's oh, there's another out of one. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I was gonna make a Dunnigan joke, but you're uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They don't. They haven't yes. met him. And yeah, they're, it's like uh, another yeah. fucking Frankenstein. Great. All they've shown is their steadfast prejudice against someone named Frankenstein. So let's introduce two more. Two more. Well, yeah. hey, there's, there's all kinds of us on the <laughs> train. <laughs> My cousin Larry. <laughs> I know you hated me before you even met me, but here's yeah, some here's more. Some of me. More. <laughs> yeah. more of us. Uh, yeah, we want so much to be your friends, but you know he's talking to nobody at that point. Yes, they're, yes, they're it's all fantastic. gone, and he just keeps going. Yeah. It's so pathetic. Yep, I really yep. like it. Yeah, yeah. That is that. That seems real to me. How somebody might turn pathetic over the course of a he's, ten he's, second he speech. Starts out very confident, <laughs> and uh, by the end, by yeah, the end, he's just like, um, uh, but we want to be your friend. There we, are a lot of cuts in this, but there is also uh, we t- talked about how we both uh, love a, a good two shot a good two shot this isn't that but he does there is a well, long it pause is, it is it's like a three shot almost because yeah. you get the, the burgermaster just kind of standing there well I guess to me it's it, it doesn't matter if it's a two shot or a three shot the point is to let the scene play the scene out play, yeah. and it does that here even though there there are yeah, numerous cut cuts away. there's a long cut after he's I think it's after he says uh, we just want to be your friends and then they are walking away they come yeah. back to him and he's just standing there like a jackass like, yeah. looking around yeah. like wow this is a, this is fucking and, bad and when everybody leaves you can get a clear shot of the dairy truck that is parked <laughs> that's there that's right yes all right uh, the Hans, let me just kick back and hear about the dairy yeah, truck Hans Holbein Molkerei which is dairy mm. I'm sure I pronounced that way wrong yeah it didn't uh, sound German M-O-L-K-E-R-E-I E-I-O would they say A in German? I. Or I? Yeah. If it Heil, ends, Heil if Hitler. If it ends with the I, that you pronounce the, you'd pronounce the second letter of like an E-I or I-E. In German or in any in language? In German. Okay. One of the few things I remember from... So it is Heil Hitler. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> the reason I, I think I fucked that up is, uh, you ever seen Raiders of the Lost Ark? Uh, yeah. You remember? Uh, yeah, I think right. his name's Tote. I don't know if they even say it in the film. The guy who burns his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes into the scene the, the with Peter his burnt Lurie hand guy. and he, yeah, the Peter Lorre guy. And he says, Heel Hitler. And I'm like, I've always, always bugged me. Like, yeah, does somebody, does, does anybody nobody bother? says heel. Yeah. It's always heil. Yeah. There uh, you go. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, the butter, air, und case handling. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, what? It's basically butter, egg, and cheese delivery. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I know somebody will get on my case for my horrible pronunciation. No, nope, nobody's getting on anybody's case. That's not not this season. In the dairy truck you rode in on. Uh, I, I say Heil, your pronunciation. I think right. it was well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's an interesting place for a dairy cart. I had no idea that that was a dairy cart. And I think uh, he probably does a brisk business, but not <laughs> it's today. It's a good corner. Yeah, yeah. he's got a good it's location a, yeah, right when they get off the train like yeah. oh this is yeah, I could use I could use some We're, cheese yeah <laughs> who doesn't like a nice you know stick of butter when they get off the train <laughs> <laughs> you eat it like a candy bar. <laughs> no, no, not in not in whatever village this is. The uh, Frankenstein it was Railway still Station in is primarily as far as I, dairy. As far as Goldstadt, yes. The, the, no one's the, even saying Viseria at this point. We're not uh, even going. There. I don't think it becomes Viseria till Ghost. And that's Listen, not. I'm sure, where, I'll have something to say about and it. And that's not where this is. Viseria is a different town. That the good point. Igor that's and where the Igor and the monster travel, travel to. to Viseria. Yeah. Thank you. The Burgo Master says in a very sinister tone. There's a car waiting for you, Herr Baron. Yeah. It's almost like it's ominous yes. the way he says it. And I don't think there's anything implied. It's just an odd delivery. Uh, yep. Or he's just fucking sick of standing in the rain. Is this the Listening second? to this clown <laughs> blather on... <laughs> Well, okay, then that's it. That's the way I kind of interpret it. Is he's saying, yeah, okay, uh, let's let's wrap. Yeah, you got a car a there, car buddy. Waiting. Did he set up the car, or does everybody get a car? Was this in Henry's will? Is this like you know? <laughs> well, I it, it, <laughs> there will be two boxes. One will have certain you know uh, papers, papers pertaining, pertaining to the estate. Uh, Another will have the, the key, key that will open them. I also need a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's an official courtesy because the driver appears to be official. Oh, oh yes, the, we do. You see, know, we see that. So the through. driver is the guy that went to the. To goes, s- we saw him. I mean, the rain was dripping yeah. on the back of his neck. So okay. then he goes. He opens the car door to let right. Wolf in. Yes, it appears as though the steering wheel, steering wheel is everywhere but England, and I think like uh, Gibraltar <laughs> and Hong Kong, maybe. No, they all drive the way we the do. Way you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, England is one of the few places that doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I know. Germany I, certainly is. I the watch same a lot here. of British. I, I I ingest a lot of British content, not just Doctor Who, but Monty or Monty Python. But you can yeah, go on and on. Yeah, yeah. And every single time someone gets in a car, I'm like, "What? He's driving? I'm never yeah. used to it. It's yeah. just wrong." Well, I, having been there for like a week and a half, yeah, you, you don't get used to it. You know what I love is the uh, they painted on the on the sidewalks is "Look this way" or whatever it says, yeah. "Check this way." And I, I needed to the you first time to, I went because, to London, yeah. and I haven't been in a, a few years now, but um, I looked the wrong way. You should look both ways. You really should. <laughs> kids, if the kids are listening, did I tell you my kids listen to this? They put on this podcast for their friends. They started playing it for their friends. Seriously? Yes. My kids are so 16. Like mercilessly mocking us so or something? I'm sure. Five 16 year olds sat down <laughs> to, to these, do something. Listen to these and Beck old turned farts. on. Yeah, Beck turned on Frankenstein <laughs> Minute. And I guess it was just they weren't, they had nothing to do or whatever. So well, that's I think on. why most people. And listen. then I said, I'm Bill Evenson. And they went, Is this your dad? Dad. <laughs> so then it was, was the end of that. It wasn't too long, but after that, that it got turned off. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, thank goodness, because after that we started talking about. I think you started talking about uh, smegma. No, I have no <laughs> idea what we talked about. Um, <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's a card that comes up a lot in Cards Against Humanity. Oh, okay. And I've had to explain it. I don't know why I get to be the guy that has to explain well, what it is. Ins- All right. Well, I don't know what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it? It is a, a cheese-like substance <laughs> that will grow in uh, the, the folds of an unwashed, uncircumcised penis, essentially. Okay. That's, that has a name. It has a name. It, it, it occurs that honest, frequently. I didn't know that. I knew it was something like that. But yeah, it was I didn't something know it was gross, that. basically, yeah. So a lady can't grow this in her labia folds? Uh, possibly. I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV, so I don't know. Well, someone you knows play that. play one on TV anymore. No, I don't. Mm. It's been a while. i got to get you on TV playing a doctor. 20 years since we've done the show. It's like an anniversary coming up? It's coming up next year, yeah. So 9 11 was 20. the. No, it was, it? It, was, it was a year after. We, we premiered like two days after the the year anniversary of 9-11 so the 13th of september 2002 did you didn't do any did you recognize it in any way not at all i wanted to ignore it as much as possible because that's not what it was about i ever tell you about that one time the kids were watching some video where someone had cut together something of a a person who threw something off screen and then they cut to the shot of the the (laughs) film or the The, the plane going through the tower and they were (sighs) so embarrassed like oh my god is dad gonna get mad (laughs) but it made me laugh (laughs) laugh. like it's a good shot if you can if you can edit that (laughs) together to make it look like someone just 
think chuck I, something I, and I, it went in through the can, world trade center can make, that's pretty funny if you can make some good out of it sure why not <laughs> yeah it's been 20 years get over it people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doc ivan's got the twin towers <laughs> in his artwork this week it's fine okay we probably lost some patreons just now yeah uh, uh yeah, yeah thank you for your courtesy and he gets he's right there the, the, i really like that for some reason i really like thank you for your courtesy he says thank you and then he has to say thank you for your courtesy as if to say uh, you know to elaborate on why i'm thanking you for this awful thing yeah, that's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. because they are being courteous and well, that's the well, best yeah, you the, can the, say the about the it. is being courteous as, as, as much as he be, can yes, that's yeah. a good point that's the, uh, yeah. i shouldn't say not everyone's being courteous as much as he you know as much as he has to be mm -hmm. he's not he's not going out of his way to be overly welcoming I, mean, he, I don't he, know why he's there but yeah to hand off that box that he yeah, promised assume, henry on his deathbed if you assume that certain papers pertaining to the estate are and the critical key, and the key that'll open to it. being the burgomaster like that's it, his it role. is key function or burgomeister and then at the very end of this minute yep there's a lap dissolve to yeah. what we presume to be the front door of the frankenstein castle yep it's easily recognizable because by nothing at all there's nothing, nothing that about it that think looks that's what it is but it has to be it has to be we just know it is yep. and uh, roland v lee is already stuffing bella lugosi into additional shots yep like uh how about know. today what are you yeah. doing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining and you're there but yeah. more to say about that next yeah week. there's really not a lot to say about that it just the car drives up and igor is caught in the headlights and that's about it. What follow us to... on uh, Facebook. We have a... What are you guys say? I was going to ask you what we should follow us oh, on. Oh, uh, thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, we have a group on Facebook called the Frankenstein Minute Village. And we post all kinds of stuff in there. I posted something in there today. I, yeah, I don't I know if you that. saw that. It was yeah. uh, an article about the Frankenstein exhibit, some Frankenstein mm -hmm. exhibit somewhere. And the, and the asshole wrote it, the first sentence. The first sentence, flathead green skin. Flathead green skin. Yeah, my reply yeah, four was... Four words in. My reply was, yeah, four words and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I didn't make it beyond those four What's words. fantastic about that is it's one of those paywall articles, too. So you get yeah. two paragraphs yeah, in and, and it says, if it. you want to keep reading this fucking tremendous you know, <laughs> yeah. stuff, do that, Frankenstein Minute Village. We'll we'll let just anybody in there, uh, <laughs> but we'll boot you out if you try and. Well, I didn't I didn't boot him out. Oh, he's still in. I think so. Okay, he probably doesn't even really know one way or the other. No.